Hello, I'm Ramsey Nassis. Today I'm dealing with the topic types of audit. Yesterday we discussed, discussed the statutory audit. Of audit on the basis of organizational structure of the business. Private audit is the second type of audit on the basis of organizational structure of the business. Private audit refers to the audit of accounts of private business enterprises such as trader, partnership firm and private individuals. Private audit is also known as general audit. It is not compulsory to audit the accounts of private enterprises but it is left to the discretion of the owner. The private business houses have their own professional arrangements for audit and to protect the interest of owners. There are three types of such institution. They are sole trader, partnership and private individuals. Now we can discuss these types in detail. First one is private audit of accounts of sole traders. The conduct of audit of sole trading or sole trader is optional and not compulsory by law. The sole trader appoints the auditor under an agreement. By this agreement, the auditor must get clear instruction in writing from his client as to what he is expected to do. The scope, nature and duties of the auditor will depend upon the agreement. The advantages of conducting private audit of accounts of salt trading or salt traders are audit accounts of salt trader assures that the accounts are made up to date and properly maintained. It helps to detect fraud and irregularities committed by the employees. It helps to preparation of income tax return and assessment of wealth tax. It is the settlement of various claims on uh, death of the owner. It helps the settlement of various claims on death of the owner. And the next uh, type of audit is private audit of accounts of partnership. Audit of accounts of partnership is not compulsory but it is optional. It is done with the interest of partners. It is better to get the accounts of the firm audited by a qualified auditor. It helps to avoid future disputes between partners. The audit of partnership is performed under partnership deed if it provides for it. The main aim of partnership audit is to verify the final accounts and to detect and prevent errors and frauds. He should see that the accounts are properly maintained and are in accordance with the provisions of partnership deed or act. The partners of a firm recognize the advantages of scientific audit. The other advantages of partnership audit are the partners should be able to get independent and unbiased opinion as to the true state of affairs of the firm. Next is audit will help the accounts to be maintained properly and up to date. Third advantage is that it helps to detect fraud and errors. Then the fourth is that accounts shall become more reliable and may help for obtaining loans from banks and other financial institutions. Next is the audited accounts can serve as a proper basis of the valuation of goodwill and assets in the case of admission, retirement and death of a partner. The next advantage is that the auditor can suggest better ways and methods of keeping the accounts. So, in order to obtain the full advantage of private audit of partnership firm, it is necessary to appoint a qualified auditor. Now, let us discuss some difference between audit of partnership and joint stuff company. In joint stuff company, audit is compulsory under statute, that is under Companies Act. But in partnership, it is not compulsory, it is optional. Next, the auditor is appointed by members in general meeting under joint stock company but in partnership, the appointment of auditor is by the partners on mutual agreement. The third difference is that the right duties, powers etc. of the auditor is uh, defined in the Companies Act but it is defined uh, as per agreement in the case of partnership. 
Next difference is that the audit of accounts is required to be done compulsorily year after year in the case of joint stock company. But it is not compulsory, it is done at the discretion of the partner under partnership. The next difference is that the auditor must be a qualified auditor as per the company's act. But the auditor need not halt those qualifications under partnership. The next point is that the auditor will report to the members of the company and certify the accounts in, the accord in accordance with the provisions of section 227 of the company's act in the case of joint stock company and auditor report or certifies in accordance with the terms of appointment under partnership. These are the main differences. The next type of private audit is private audit of accounts of other individuals. There are some other individuals who are not a businessman but they are the owners of a number of buildings or estate managers who have large income and a huge expenditure. The accounts of these individuals are prepared by paid employees. The individuals like to see that their accounts are audited. This will help them to rely upon the accounts recorded by their employees. It is easy to calculate income tax liability. The income tax authorities also insist that a professional auditor should audit the accounts. The fourth type of private audit is audit of institution. It includes non-profit institution. There are certain institutions working not for earning profit. They are non-profit organizations like hospitals, schools, colleges, associations, clubs and libraries who have large receipts and huge expenditures. It is not compulsory to get their accounts audited. It is necessary to audit the accounts to assure the members that the accounts are maintained pro properly. This helps them to detect frauds and irregularities committed by the office bearers and employees. It further helps them for obtaining government grants and other assistance on the basis of audited accounts. These are the major types of private audit. Thank you.